my Connect a Guardian client today and I know she would have been upset. I was sick. Yes. She would have just wanted to, to just have a chat, you know, make sure I'm okay. That's what she wouldn't have wanted to do is make sure I'm okay. <laughs> we do love that. Yeah. We do, we do. All right. Well, I'll get tucked into it so that if anything comes up, um, you know, you can head off and I'll, I'll get through. I've got a, we've got a little presentation just to make me look smart. Thanks, yeah. Sage. I'm going to multitask. Yeah, you go for it. Go for it, Glenn Coco. Okay, here we go. All right. So tonight we're talking about fitness. And it's one of those topics that everyone tries to jump to first off. And as you'll see, this is actually our week three conversation that we're having rather than our week one. Um, so now you've been through parts of this, but it's really, really awesome to rehash on these things, considering everyone's starting to really get into exercising at home and, and, um, and balancing out their, their lifestyle again and figuring out how to fit things in and what to fit things in and what it needs to look like. So hopefully this will help out with everyone doing their scheduling last week. This will hopefully help you guys get a bit of a better understanding of how to get a better bang for buck with your fitness and understanding the dynamics of the different health types so health type variation on the fitness comes down to a different every health type has a different time frequency style or type duration and intensity that will give us a maximum effect uh, sorry a, a minimum effective dosage so everyone's time poor right i'm sure you would all agree we're all time poor we're trying to get the most out of our day um, and for the minimum effective dosage for us to be able to get the best bang for buck will come through the next couple of slides for each of the different health types um, and that's what we're really all about here is providing you guys that information. So um, for activators, you guys have got great body awareness. Like your hand-eye coordination is second to none. Like you look at a lot of the soccer players and, and tennis players, a lot of them are activators and they are so switched on and, and more coordinated than I am. Uh, they're likely to push hard and they like consistent variation or constant variation. So it's about... Um, if you gave them a monotonous task of riding a marathon or riding a, a bike on a, on, a, on a straight road for 200 kilometers, it's probably going to bore them. If you put them in the same tedious, monotonous job, you're going to bore them. Same with their fitness. It needs to be varied. They need to, their frequency needs to be done daily. Like it, it must be done every single day for an activator to feel uh, balanced, to get the most out of it. These guys are the ones that will get aggressive. They don't just get hangry. They get, I call it like moving angry. If they don't move enough, they get angry. Um, and they haven't expressed their energy and they're, they're expelled their uh, internal aggression, which is natural for them. Their intensity is generally to 70 to 80% or 80 to 90%. Now, keep aware of these different intensities and these different times, guys, as, as we go across each of the different health types, because you'll see a little bit of a trend and it'll give you a bit of an understanding of each of the different health types and why they are such different bodies. So the general time frame for an activator to train is generally 20 to 45 minutes. So remember, these guys are all on and then all off. So 20 to 45 minutes is maximum for what you're going to need to have them. And the ideal type in the general sceneries that you'll see these guys in be hit, AMRAP, uh, Metcon, CrossFit, team sports, animal flow, like all that camaraderie, like ooh, kind of stuff where they're, they're all in and they're having a good go. Activators flow for the day. I'm going to show you guys one of these for each of the different health types. So just pay attention to where the line sits and how high up it sits too. So these guys wake up early, they're ready to attack the day. It's really good for them to do a little bit of light cardio or walking and breath work in the mornings. Um, a big energy burst from 11 to 8, 8, uh, sorry, 8 till 11 a.m. Um, is when they've got a bit more energy. Um, and then they're going to have their productive times when their brain's going to be switched on. So they've done all this movement and then their brain comes in and start getting into the, the chunk of the work grind. Two to three is when they, so they've done the work grind. Now they need to fully expel all that energy and really burn it off. Um, and then from three to six is generally just general moving um, as, a, as a flow, as a function. And then you'll see their energy completely drops off into the afternoon, evening. And they're, they're then on the decent and, and winding down. So make sure you get in with your activators nice and early and get them burning off as much energy through the day um, because their natural flow is to tire out much earlier than any other health types. Then we go into the connectors. So like um, these guys like to see changes quickly, but are uh, the most resilient to change. So 
This means they need a lot larger volumes than most of the other health types, but they also need variety and it needs to be social. Like don't stick these guys on a, a, one of those air bikes or wind bikes in the corner of a gym and leave them alone. They need to be there with someone beside them or walking with someone or playing a game or whatever it is. It needs to be with the people doing the thing as a community it is the best way to keep them happy and healthy and losing the weight um, and enjoying the process. Their frequency is actually, look at this, it's once to twice a day. So we said these guys need volumes. So these guys could literally go and do a hard out session sometime mid morning and hard out session sometime mid afternoon and, and play and dance around all day long. And their body just has the resilience to just keep going. The intensity needs to be 90 to a hundred percent. Like these guys are just all in guns blazing. Go, go, go. Or 70 to 80% because they're just dancing and flowing and playing. Their time is generally 30 to 60 minutes or longer. So you don't want them having too, many, too little short bursts and things like that. You want them getting in and going for gold for as long as they possibly can to get their body into the threshold of burning the best, uh, burning energy the best. The type of play for these guys is really about teen sports, CrossFit, Olympic lifting and group fitness. So if you ever look at a lot of the, the bodies that do these sports, you'll be able to really understand the, the dynamic of this body type and how they are so strong and just they, they have the endurance of a machine. So like I said, we could do a massive cardio boost in the morning, like guns blazing. Um, then their brain's going to come in there. They're going to be able to get that really, um, their, their brain then goes, cool, we've done the physical. Now it's safe for me to jump into my brain and utilize my amazing mind that loves variety and change with lots of intense work. Then they come in and do massive strength in the after, mid afternoon. And then they're going to, they could do a bit of strength or um, mixed training through the, the, the later parts of the afternoon. And then it's more like playtime. So it's like, um, hard out and then a bit of family fun time and then drop off. Then their body's finally, after all of this exercise in the day, their body's going to be ready to really come down and, and, and slow the pace and enjoy cuddles and enjoy a quiet dinner with the family. Then we come into the guardians. Guardians are all about being heavy. So heavy equals safety. These guys will conserve no matter what. They will um, never give 100%. So remember how the connectors was like 90 to 100% exertion. These guys will never, ever give 100% because their body is built to conserve. So their movement needs to be three to five times a week. So see how these are a much bigger body. They're not needing to move as much because their body can conserve. Their body's capable of doing a lot. But if they move too much, it might become a bit of a stress. So their intensity is generally 90 to 100% or 60 to 70. There's a big variation there. So these guys, heavy equals safety. So the heavy part where they're doing really, really, really heavy. Like these guys can lift cars. These guys can lift like the most mammoth of things because they have the strong body that is capable. So they're either like 100% exertion, lifting the world, stopping that car crash, whatever it might be, <laughs> being the superhero or they're just at a cool, calm pace of 60 to 70%. Their time is generally between five to 20 minutes or 45 to 90 minutes. And that's because it's like just general movement, short bursts, like that, that, like that 100%, that 90 to 100% is really only for five to 20 minutes, no more. You don't want them exerting that much energy for any longer than 20 minutes. And then the 60 to 70% capacity is really for 45 to 90 minutes. So that's a long, slow, steady pace. Um, these guys are great actually, actually, um, to go for a hike with a weight vest on is ideal for a guardian. So these guys are really, really great at strength, power lifting, LASS and HIE, HIIE lifting and training. Um, so it's, it's really about being the strong man being the, the most powerful being they can. And as you can see, as we're coming more into the endomorph side of things, it start really low, really, really slow and low and build slowly, just like we're going up a set of steps, slowly build up, get moving, stretch the body like a bear in the morning, right? Slowly get going, more about breath, maybe go for like a, a late morning lunchtime walk if they want to. But during the three to seven phase, this is when it's like 
beast mode, really lift heavy. This is when you really want to be giving it your all and then drop off for your family time, right? Then we come into our diplomats. So diplomats have a slow ATP conversion. So they, they're much slower to get into the groove, into the zone. So they do need elongated timeframes, but diplomats and, and Sinead, you might be able to re relate to this. We don't like pain. We like to avoid the pain of the fitness, um, depending on the requirement or the need. Yeah, yeah? definitely. Yeah. yeah. So it's then like we, we get the pain and we're like, oh, I don't want the pain. Unless you have a real drive and desire to achieve the pain because there's a result that is co that's coming from that pain and you're really after that result, right? So like if, if there's a need for the pain and you're okay with that, you'll do it. But generally you'll avoid the pain. That's why I prefer like, yoga. There's no pain involved in that one. Uh, interesting. Yeah, there are a lot of yogis that are diplomats, very much. So the frequency is strength three times per week, generally, unless you're a freak like me and you love it, then two to three times per week more of movement. So that can be walking, yoga, um, dancing, playing with the kids, whatever it is, just two to three times more per week. So you're generally looking between five to six times of movement of active get your body sweating movement um, and your intensity would be 60 to 70 percent. Um, or 80 to 90%. But do you see with diplomats how there's no above 90%, right? You will never get a diplomat giving 100%. They will be, like, we just have this threshold where we cannot give that because that's like death. And our time would be 30 to 60 minutes or more, right? If you could actually get out and do a massive hike every weekend, your body would benefit more from that. If you went for a two hour or a three hour hike with the family in the bush, your body would actually thrive on that. So PHA is the uh, diplomat version of HIIT training, H-I-I-E and five by five. So does everyone know what five by five is? It's like five sets of five reps. And so it means that you're lifting so heavy that at the end of five reps, you've reached your 90% max capacity. What's the H-I-I-E? I don't understand these terms at all. <laughs> So hit um, is more like up down up down up down up down. H I I E is more it's it's more of like eccentrics and slower and steady, but it's still like upper body lower body circuit styles. Yep, and P H A is is literally the diplomat version of. Um, hit training, which you know how how activators do hit training all the time. They're like um, high intensity interval training. Yep. Yep. So diplomats do that, but ours is more like, you know how they see me doing the training all the time. And I'm like, so we do squats, then push-ups, then lunges, then shoulder work, then squats, then like, so you go a lower body exercise, then straight away, your next exercise would be an upper body exercise. So you're not going to sit there and you don't necessarily need to do a whole leg day. If you want to burn fat, you're actually better off sitting there and doing um, upper body, lower body, upper body, lower body. So it forces the body to push the blood from head to toe, work there, then toe to head, work there, then head to toe. That puts more of a bit metabolic strain on the body and gets better fat burning. Yeah. Yeah. Hiking, swimming, steady state and moderate intervals and lots of isometrics. So these are wall holds, planks, um, doing a bicep curl and coming down at, at 90 degree angles, if you were to do that, you're actually going to get far better benefit and hold the, the, the weight under load than you would doing like a push pull and throwing it around like a kettlebell swing or something like that. Your body responds better to holding a weight at a stagnant spot. Um, then we go into seeing the diagram. So you saw Guardian before, it was way, way, way up. So let me just give you a comparison. Look at where the line sits and look at the spikes. Now look at the diplomat. Does that give you a really great visual of how we are? Where we're long, slow, steady. You know, don't thrash a diplomat. Give them time to build their pace in the morning slowly mobilizing themselves, avoiding as much stress as possible. But then in the afternoon between three and six, that's when you go hard. And by go hard, I mean 90%.
when I found this out, I really just sit there and went, I wonder what I would be like if I did go 100%. <laughs> you know, so um, it's totally normal. Empty as much of your reserves as you're comfortable to do in the afternoon, evening session, and then, then after 7 p.m. and onwards, taper off. Maybe go for a light evening walk, that's it. Sensors need detail. These guys need to know the entire, what's expected, what it needs to look like, why they're doing it, how it's going to feel, why they're wanting to feel that, what's the objective, <laughs> what's the expectation, you know, everything. They want all of the details before they get started, but they must do it when they're warm. So these guys are great at like Bikram yoga and like working in Darwin <sighs> in really warm climates is perfect for these guys. Their frequency is actually only short. They don't need really long amounts of working out. These guys are only doing like a bit of yoga, like a 20 minute, 30 minute session. And that's enough. A couple of days here and there. They don't have much weight on their body. Therefore, they don't need to be burning a heat. Like, Janae, I'm sure if you pictured Kelsey trying to do like a 60 to 60 to 90 minute workout, she'd kill herself, right? She hasn't got the body fat in reserve to be able to push through those kinds of workouts. So it's like the perfect idea for you to be like, okay, imagine Kelsey trying to do a hard workout versus Shana trying to do a hard workout. I'm going to have a lot more energy reserve to go a lot longer, whereas Kelsey would naturally burn out. Hence why I get dying photo, dying Snapchats of her after gym sessions. Mm. 100%, 100%. And her, her, um, her time frame she can train for is much less than the rest of us. And her intensity is only really meant to be 60 to 70%. So she really only needs light. These guys need light weights, higher repetition, and over a shorter amount of time. Um, their time generally 30 to 60 minutes, light weights, um, yoga, tai chi, qi gong, all that sort of like flow movement, spinal movements is really, really important for them. Good luck telling her that one. I know. <laughs> she's a, she's a, a, a sensor with an activator heart. Uh -huh. She just wants to go be fiery, aggressive and push. Yeah. <laughs> Years of adrenal fatigue. So these guys are really about the same. You can see how they're very similar to diplomats, right? Sensors and diplomats are very similar, yet very different. So diplomats have the huge, strong body. Sensors don't, but they're really very, very much about flow, taking it easy in the morning, accomplish your task, use your brain, don't be too intense, get moving one to three and exercise between three and five uh, or five to six and then taper off, shut the mind down and go to bed. Our crusaders, these are the crazy ones. I mean, these are the guys, <laughs> these guys are really built for endurance. They love to measure everything. They have their Garmin watch. I got on my bike and was like, oh, I forgot to set my thing for the riding. Oh, well. Whereas these guys would have to stop, potentially go back to the start, turn the Garmin watch on and ensure that they're tracking everything because they want to know exactly what they're doing, how long it's taking, whether they're beating their last one. They're on their own battle for themselves because they want to beat themselves constantly, let alone beating everybody else. So these guys are really in it for the constant reward of being the best. Their frequency is three around three high intensities and two mobility and stretching per week. Intensity is 60 to 80%. Time is generally 30 to 60 minutes plus or longer. Because do you think about some of these 200 and 300 kilometer rides that these crazy people do is like an hour and a half, two hours. Crazy. So their type is endurance, swimming, cycling, hit, running, stretching, yoga, tai chi. If they're doing weights, it's moderate to high reps. Um, they do supersets. So these guys can go to failure. These guys go all out until they have nothing left and their body loves it because they know they've achieved like the ultimate status. Um, drop sets, like I said, failure based. Their day for intensity, like we said, endured, endurance. So comparison, sensor, crusader, right? Completely different kettle of fish. So these guys are start moving in the morning, 5 to 7 a.m. That makes me feel sick just reading that. 5 to 7 a.m., these guys are up and they are moving. They're getting into their day. Up, um, They can get their heart rate up between 7 and 9 a.m. So really good time for cardio for them in the morning. Their brain then comes in and it's like on fire. From 9 to 12, do not. If you have a, a, a crusader who has a, a company or a business or a, or a, a mission, 
Do not disturb them between 9 and 12 p.m. Uh, p.m. You know, let them be. That's their work zone. And if you interrupt that time, look out. <laughs> From 12 to 4 is an ideal time for these guys to utilize their muscles and do their strength training. Moderate down in the afternoon and then finish their day off way, way, way down here. Really, it's important to shut that brain down and that body down later on. So that, that's that, Bant. So any questions about that or any reflections? Could, you, could that give you a really good contrast zipping between the different health types and being able to see the different diagrams there? I'm definitely a mix between the diplo and the sensor, which we already knew. Yep, yep. I, yeah, I like the flow of the sensor stuff. And I think I'm an activated body with like a sensor mindset. I'm the reverse to Kelsey because I do. I'm very lazy, but I like to have everything organized and everything done so I can just chill. Yes. Well, that's definitely the diplo center. The activator is fiery and aggressive and wants to keep pushing and, and battling things yeah. um, and challenging themselves and challenging everyone and just saying no. So, Sinead, you are a 330. Okay. Which makes you right beside the sensor, uh, beside sensor. Which I was, I switched over when we did my ways, but I haven't done that again because I'm so lazy and I forget. <laughs> Let's get it done. Let's book it in this I've week. Every measure. Yes, I do. Yes. When are you going to have that done? Um, what's tomorrow? I can do it Wednesday. Wonderful. Yeah, get on to that one. Um, I'll on the phone so I don't forget. Perfect. Maria's popped in. Hello, stranger. Hey, all. All the way from Thailand. Thank you for jumping on. We're almost at the end now, but that's okay. You can watch the replay. Oh, I just finished my um, workout and I thought, oh, what's going on here? So I had checked it out. Oh, babe, well, I'll send you through the recording. That's okay. But wait, well, you, you can still just sit here and have the conversation. Always welcome. I'm just going to quickly awesome, show awesome. Shanae. So if, let's have a look. I'm going to share the screen with you guys and just quickly show you Shanae because it's always fun to have a visual. Uh, okay. So Shanae, you're a 3.30 right here on the line. Between yep. sensor, yep. And Kelsey is a 25, so she's right here where the E is on Ecto. Ooh. Yeah, so Kelsey's more analytical, so similar to the Crusader, hence why she won't stop. She's always on yeah. the go, right? So this is why we love to know people's health types and know people's numbers and, and, and get everyone to do their genetics is because when we look at them on here, we can go, yeah, so you're both close to a sensor or part of a sensor. But when we know that Kelsey's closer towards a crusader, her mind's going to be a lot more like a, a, a client, a lot more like a horse. It's, yeah. She's going to be just go, 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 want to achieve, want to achieve, want to achieve. And her body doesn't necessarily keep up with her mind as much as it's driven. Whereas you are much more the diplomat where you're more sensual, slow and steady, avoid the pain, um, all in my time in my flow. Yeah. Which shows you why. And that's like, well, we love to have couples do their programs and profiles too, because then we can sit here and have this discussion as to why one is more attuned to certain behaviors than the other. Perfect. Well, I think that's pretty well. Was there any questions that came up for that one? No. Pretty good. No. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to get this reminder going. You're right to do your measurements. Yes, Missy. Are there any fitness goals that anyone wanted to set? Well, I just gave birth about six months ago, and now I've got all this baby weight that I've been trying to get rid of. Um, I've tried to do, like, a staying within my uh, daily caloric intake, but obviously that's just maintenance and I'm trying to work out about an hour three or four times a week that's sort of helping but the annoying part is definitely the excess fat that I've got on my back and yeah that's that's definitely the hard part getting rid of that part did you send me through your email address that you used to set your profile up Aria your free one I I don't uh yeah it's ariabramble at gmail.com this is my full name. All right, let me add you so I can find out what your number is. Because Aria's done the, the free. What health hub did you come up with? 
I never got to do that one because Adam not, never got to help me with the measurements. Oh, that's why we never got it then. Ah, oh. <laughs> sorry. And to be honest, I completely forgot about it. So Aria's goal for the next two days is to get in and do it. <laughs> well, I, well, since I've got the measuring tape on me now, I'll probably get my sister to help me instead. So. Amazing. Amazing. Well, the link's still valid. You can still get it done. As soon as you're done that, let me know because your goals right now are totally awesome. But what we would like and what we've just discussed and what you will get to see in this presentation when you go back and watch it is mm. the bang for buck of knowing when should you be doing the training, what style of training is going to suit your genetics, What's the intensity that's going to suit your genetics? Because if you're a mum, you've got limited time. So if you're going to be doing it, you want to be getting your best bang for buck. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. And like trying so, to get as much done as possible in like a small amount of time during the day. Because Leo only has short naps. Mm -hmm. And yeah, he's hard to put down when he's up. <laughs> I can imagine. I can imagine. These girls both know what it's like to be parents. So... <laughs> Yay, I'm not the only one. No, no uh, it's only me that doesn't have kids. Uh, <laughs> it gets easier. You can babysit, that's okay. Yeah, I'll come to Thailand and babysit, no, time, no problem. No problem at all. So, um, I can't wait then. That's a great goal for you to get your profile finished and done and get that underway. Um, and then our next discussion. So Thursday, we'll be on coaching again, same time, 8 p.m., 9 a.m. on Thursday. Um, what topic have we got for that, Paige? Have we have? Have we uh, created we a topic? one yet? Um, come up with that? I'm multitasking, actually, as we speak, cooking dinner. <laughs> the <Yum>. activators? Yes, <laughs> activators as usual. Um, no, we don't have one yet, but we'll let you guys know. Yep. Um, okay. If there's anything in particular you want to have covered, like we've covered stress, chronobiology, um, stress, chronobiology, and food so far. Um, Aria, I can give you the archive of all the videos that we've done thus far. Um, but if there's Brilliant. anything in, in particular that you guys would like to know about in the world of health and well-being that springs to mind, let us know, and we'll cover that in depth. Awesome. Yeah. Um, and then I almost think that soon we may even do a challenge for partners, Sage. We might actually get everybody, whilst we've still got access to the free link, and go, let's do a partner conversation. Yeah. 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 How would that be, Shanae? How would you feel about getting your hubby in going, what are you, hubby? <laughs> I've tried to get him to do it. My hubby's just hopeless. <laughs> Mine too. I think it's just a men thing. It is. <laughs> Shana, well, how about you get Clint to do it and see how like, you go with getting Clint to do it and then he can have a conversation with Matt and we'll work it out that way. Touche, touche. <laughs> Love it. Yeah. Touche. <laughs> so we can't really move on any exercise goals until we know Aria's Aria Aria Yeah. Yeah, I'll get, I can get that done within the hour. Sweet. And then, just, yeah, if you want us to go over anything that you've missed, then just let us know. It's no problem. Yeah. And we can, we can recap on that on, on Thursday. Shanae yeah. is redoing her measurements. And um, how about your fitness goals? How's your week looking? Like, how are you fitting in your schedule? Because we had the scheduling was one of our projects there. Yeah. So mm -hmm. since our talk, I have, oh, kids are back at school. Hooray. Yeah. Really? <laughs> So they have left me alone this afternoon and I got to work out when we got home from school. So that was really good. Yes. Um, How do you feel? Yeah, good. So I've had a cranking headache though, which didn't help. So I only did 20 minutes, but I got right. something done. So that was a positive. Baby steps. Yeah, exactly. And also I made my husband run into the school with me because we were late almost late to school and I was like let's park so far away so we have to run <laughs> <Do it. laughs> he did not Do like it. me but that's okay yeah um so yeah I'm doing small things but yeah hopefully um tomorrow after work and after I get the kids home from school we'll go outside oh no it's meant to be gross we'll have to work out inside today tomorrow again so 
Awesome. Okay. Because that was cool. So, Aria, we've had discussions in the group about, especially with diplomats, is, is creating challenges or creating um, uh, situations where you have to do the fitness. Like, so parking further away from school and, and going and tricking yourself. So, it's like, um, like for me too, I had to go get some stuff from the shop on my way home because it's Kelsey's birthday tomorrow. And, um, and I had to get some stuff, but I was on my push bike. So instead of riding straight home, I had to divert all the way into town to the shops, grab what I needed to get and then come back. I could have driven this afternoon, but I was like, nope, you're riding the bike. You're riding all the way there and all the way home. Um, uh, I wish I had that much self-discipline into getting out of bed early in the morning. <laughs> Well, I'm excited to find out what health type you are because potentially it might be me giving you a hall pass and going, you're actually not meant to try in the morning. Mm, there you go. I'll get that sorted. That'll be exciting to find that one out. Yeah, me too. I've never known what body type I had. Yay! We can't wait to find that out with you. Yay. <laughs> It'll be great. Yes, All right. Perfect. Perfect. I have a feeling you might be a diplomat, very similar, a small diplomat, like a friend of mine's just measured up as. Oh, really? Yeah. Ah, okay. Yay. And Shanae, so you've gotten an exercise in today. When do you forecast your next exercise session? Tomorrow. Tomorrow? What time? Mm, about 3.30, almost 4. Awesome. Probably four-ish by the time I get Matt to work and everything, yeah, because when we get home from work, school, I've got to get him off to work because he's a man and he's hopeless and can't do it himself. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> yep, okay. Yeah. But, yeah, I, I generally do it when we get home from school, so, yeah. Perfect. Is there anything that could get in the way of that? Yeah, me. <laughs> Great. What are we doing to stop that? Hiding the remote so I don't sit down <laughs> and make sure that dinner's already sorted so I don't have to figure that out because cool. I either sit down and watch TV and get distracted or I get in the kitchen and I start cooking stuff and I get distracted. So I'm not cool. doing it until after homework. Yes. 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 We're working and out and then we're doing homework and then we're doing everything else. I told you I'm lazy. You're incredible, <laughs> but you're doing so so well right now this is such a turnaround for you so what could what can you do to help yourself to get that to happen like what can i do to achieve it mm -hmm. have a lot of self-discipline <laughs> can you do anything tonight or in the morning to make have, sure? i've got a reminder set already for it awesome. yeah sorry Sounds like you're being typical diplomat and just being really hard on yourself as well. Oh, I that's always true. am. I'm my own worst enemy. Yeah. That's for sure. Well, even that, like, you're not the own worst enemy. Diplomats are just so mean to yourselves. <laughs> we are. That's what I've found during this. I am so harsh on myself. Mm. Um, I was only saying to Shana the other day that, like, I hate myself sometimes and I get so frustrated with that. Mm. But, yeah, I don't hate anything in particular. I just get frustrated with myself. So then that turns around in negative energy. and Yeah. And it could just be that it's not realistic for you to do back-to-back -back training sessions. It might be more realistic for you to go, no, nah, I'm going to do every second day. Yeah. Or, and so think about that too, like what's realistic for you to be comfortable doing so that you don't set the expectations and then beat yourself up. Mm. Which ultimately, like, if you were to turn around and go, oh, I'm going to do it every second day and it's okay if the, the, the day in between is whatever. But if you then were to aim to do it tomorrow and then you failed it, then that then snowballs you off of it and you don't do any more fitness for the rest of the week because you're then so hard on yourself. Mm. Like, that's what tends to happen. I'm having deja vu. I swear I've had this conversation, like, in the last week with someone else. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. Or I'm just having deja vu. I'm not sure. You are, definitely. It's not me. <laughs> for me it's more about a um, mindset and whatnot but um that's what's coming up a lot for the diplomats at the moment is remembering that you are sensual beings and, and and being realistic in your expectations of what you can and cannot achieve 
and then being okay with whatever that is. Like we're like we said with all of these programs, is we we are here to meet you halfway. We're here to meet you where you're at and support you in that. So if you're having a shit week and you can't do it, that's fine. You do the best you can and know that we're here to support you with no judgment to move into the following week. And then do the things that you love as well. Like what do you love doing? Do that. Yeah. Yeah. I do that. I I spend a lot of time with my kids, which is the best thing, but then I get frustrated. (laughs) Oh, yeah, it is. It's like, I miss them. Actually, go away. Yeah, yeah, that's what it was like today. I miss them. They've been at school all day. Okay, now bugger off. Leave me alone. (laughs) That's why I was telling my son to shut the fuck up and go to sleep 10 minutes ago. (laughs) I get it. And then you feel bad about that. And then, yeah, it's a vicious circle. Yep. I'm Definitely. Kiva, can you just put your, can you nice put your feet down, please? <laughs> <laughs> she says it so nicely. <laughs> she does. I've only got one, I remember. Oh, that's, oh, that's probably why. <laughs> Aria's just sitting there going, oh, this is what I get to look forward to. Yeah, literally, I was just thinking that. I was like, oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> It's nice to have one. I don't know why I went back for the second one. The second one made me crazy, I swear. Yeah, right. Um, I'm just hoping that when I eventually... Oh, sorry, go for it, Aria. No, I was just going to say, besides me, like my sister, she she also had a baby literally nine days before me, and we're all living together right now. So technically, I kind of have two kids, so (laughs) at the same age... Oh. Two little shits. <laughs> and Hero was literally about to be like, I hope that if I get pregnant, I just have twins that way I can just do it at once. No, don't oh, do that. That's crazy. Honey. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Let's see, like my mum and had the twins after the other one. So then she had three. <laughs> oh gosh. That I know two happen. friends that have had twins and they're like, it's the worst thing ever. Don't do it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> my dream. Sorry. Damn. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, look, thank you so much for being on Aria. I'm, we're, we, we are thrilled Sorry. to see you pop into these a little more yeah. frequently. And um, mm-hmm. we'll get your profile done. And you with your food genius and you with your – I can't wait to see you with the full profile because your food genius and your fitness background that you already have will yeah. – fall in love with this protocol and you will fall in love with the science and the support that's there for you but also then you'll be able to see how this can help your clients yeah yeah absolutely i'm i'm really looking forward to it i i can definitely sense like a change in my body since um i gave birth i feel like my body's a lot more different now and um whenever i've tried to exercise like i used to i feel like i'm not i'm not delivering uh the same results that i used to so yeah, I, I yeah I don't know maybe the hormones or something. How old's your baby? He's almost he's he will be six months next week. Yeah, so it should be slowly getting back to normal. You just got to remember it is massive what your body went through. Like it grew a oh, whole God. human and then gave birth to it and then supported it. And you, are you still feeding? Yeah, he is. He is. Yeah. But you're still growing a child, and it is huge for your body. It's a massive. It's nothing more. And not that it's it's an awful experience, but on the body, it's the most traumatic thing that a body can go through. Yeah, yeah, I, I definitely feel that. So yeah, and so it'll mm-hmm. take, it takes a while to get back. Um, so yeah, go easy on yourself as well. But it should be starting to get easier now after about six months. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. I had to give myself a three three months like um, what do you call it a uh, recovery well, period because I had a cesarean. Yeah. So, yeah, so that, that definitely took it a, a huge step back as well. Yeah. 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 And you may even find that the platform may put you in as one. Oh. No, I'll take that back. Yeah, let's, let's see what you come up as. Yeah, it may yep. compensate for it. We'll have to wait and see. Awesome. I, I am looking forward to it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> If you need help, I have a video I need to upload actually um, that just shows you where to go to navigate the platform and to log in and get it done. Um, I'll upload that right now and and, add that to you. And I'll also give you the link for the spreadsheet where we have all our our calls. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. 
Oh, likewise. Thank you for being on all the way from the other side of the world. Yeah, awesome. Mm, pleasure. Thank you. Yeah, I'll, yeah I'll, put on my, I'll put on my calendar that you guys are on again at 9 a.m. or and 5 p.m. Thursday? Uh, uh, 9 and nine a.m. and 8 p.m. Oh, 8 p.m. I'm so sorry. I'm thinking 5 p.m. my time. All right, cool, cool, yeah. cool, cool. cool. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. awesome. <laughs> See, ya. See you guys then. Bye. Take care, guys. Bye. 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 Good job. Good job. Good job. Um, I think I might change. Um, oh, Sinead's still on. <laughs> sorry. I'm trying to get off. It's just having hissy fits at me. <laughs> All right. See ya. See ya. Oh, come on. Um, I think I might change that presentation to be about mesomorphs in one. Ectomorphs, endomorphs. Mm. I'm only going through three, so it's not so confusing. And you can say these are mesomorphs, the activators and the connectors, and you can speak about how they're the same but a little bit different. And having them side by side on the one slide might actually have everyone go, oh, fuck. Yeah. Yeah. But I, won't, I don't need to do that now. I was just thinking when I was listening to another presentation, I was like, oh, it makes more sense then because you look at the Guardian and Diplomat, so similar. Yeah. Maybe we just do that at the same time and just say the differences while we're there. Mm, mm. I think I love the way that that slide really shows us like the guardian has the capacity to be like, yeah. but the diplo is more sensual and then grow into it. Like, um, yeah. well, we can, you, we can do it. Like, like you let me know what you want to do as well. Like, mm, um, I think I really like them side by side because that really yeah. gave everyone a really good visual, especially because that's why I was flicking back between them to be able to like show that those, those pictures are great for showing graphical. Yeah. Um, the, they were a bitch to get on the slides though. Like, I was going to say, where did you get them so clear? I got them from um, a graphics in the resource center, but to get the slide, it's all in different sections. Oh. But move it after you've pasted it. It was making me so angry. I was like, and I did it in 